The AT2-5 controller that you see now on the screen performs all of the management functions of the TEM and TEL, endless glass door lineup, the cabinets, those that are configured with a pair of ends to be used as a single cabinet. This controller manages temperature, defrost, defrost termination, and provides temperature alarming and other conditional information about the cabinet. Uh, this controller replaces electromechanical components like the uh, traditional defrost time clock, uh, temperature control or thermostat, a defrost termination control in low temperature cabinets, and a fan delay control. In normal operating mode, there are nine different labels and pieces of information that can be delivered by the controller. Uh, examples of those are uh, the room temperature, which is what you're currently looking at, minus seven degrees of the space inside the cabinet. Uh, DEF would indicate that there's a defrost in progress. REC indicates that we're in recovery mode or out of defrost and returning the coiled operating temperature. Uh, this indicates that we would be in fan delay. The evaporator fans would be off until we reach the end of the recovery mode and fan operation returns. If you see OFF, that means that the unit has been put in standby and while it's powered, the refrigeration system will not be operating. Should someone leave a door open, DO will appear, which is a door alarm. If you have a high temperature alarm or low temperature alarm in the cabinet space, uh, the readouts will indicate HI and LO. Should there be a wiring problem or a functional failure of either of the two temperature probes, one mounted on the evaporator coil, the other in the return airstream of the cabinet, you would see E1 or E2 indicating uh, an alarm function for a temperature probe failure. In addition to these operating condition readouts, we can also get from the information menu six different uh, in pieces of information that we access by pressing the I button, the left button on the controller. If we press this button down and hold it, the temperature set point or cutout temperature of the cabinet will be displayed. If we press it very briefly and release it, the first of the six information readouts label will be displayed, followed by the value of that information point. To display the temperature set point on the controller for the cabinet, press the left or I button and hold it, and it will display the current set point. To change that set point, keep the button down. Using the next button to the right, the down button, you can decrease the set point, or the third button to the right, the up button to change that set point. When you release, the new set point will be programmed in. 